Hello everyone. In this lesson on the classical era, we will look at the life and musical influences of Franz Josef Haydn. Haydn lived in Austria for most of his life, and his chamber music and symphonies helped define the music of the classical era. When he was 29 years old, Haydn landed a job as the music director for the wealthy Esterhazy family. They owned large amounts of land and had lots of money, and kept a small orchestra on staff. For almost 30 years, Haydn was the chief composer, performer, and music director for all of the family's musical concerts and productions. Most importantly, he had his own orchestra of musicians, which gave him the opportunity to freely experiment with and improve his compositional technique and style. As he composed dozens of symphonies and chamber works, he changed and developed their formal structure in new and ingenious ways. Today, Haydn is known as the father of the string quartet. His 68 string quartets and 45 piano trios established both genres in the world of chamber music. Many future composers used his compositions as models. Haydn is also known as the father of the symphony. By the time he was 80 years old, he had written 104 symphonies, not including 32 other works for small orchestra. His early symphonies had three movements, a fast first movement, a slower second movement, and a dance-like third movement. As his symphonies grew in size and scope, he added a fourth movement to give his audience an exciting finale. He also gave harder parts to the viola, cello, and bass sections, assigning more equal roles to each part in the orchestra. Eventually, the Esterhazy family allowed Haydn to sell his compositions to outside publishers, and his music became known all around Europe. In 1790, Haydn moved to Vienna, Austria, where income from his compositions supported him well. He became friends with Mozart and established himself as a freelance composer. He also traveled around Europe. He traveled to Paris and wrote six Paris symphonies, and later in life he traveled to London, where he wrote 12 London symphonies. He also taught Beethoven, and by the end of his life he was recognized as one of the greatest symphony composers in the world. Now read Lesson 6.2 in your workbook, then answer the questions in the study guide to review this entire unit. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.